Hey guys, Max2015 and today is a very, very special occasion for me as a Boom Beach player. Uh, I have been waiting for a day like this for a long, long time, probably well over a year since I started playing Boom Beach. Uh, and I decided that I wanted to push victory points and get to the top. Uh, so today will be maybe, you know, the first baby step going towards that push. So today we're going to get into the top 50 in the United States. I sort of tiptoed into it uh, two nights ago when I was clearing my map. And then I sort of just stopped playing because I didn't want my victory points to go too high. I wanted to make an official video of it, uh, of me getting into the top 50 and put it on YouTube um, to sort of kind of, you know, document that part of it. So um, I'm at, uh, what am I, at 1,213 victory points. Uh, top 50 here in the United States right now is... Uh, 1217 so I'm only four victory points away from it uh, which basically means just two bases uh, two PvP bases to get there and I have a lot of bases on my map I didn't play all of yesterday because I was waiting for for a time like today where I can make the video and get into the top 50 so I did not play yesterday this is that's why I have four of my eye statues boosted whoops no more um, I, I boosted four of them just to sort of minimize the, the amount of raids I was going to get yesterday. And in fact, I only got raided once, and it was by a, a silly overboosted uh, warrior player. So one raid in a 25-hour period is actually pretty great, I think. Um, another thing that really helped the other day, uh, three days ago, I think I got raided maybe four or five times. And I was getting a little frustrated, mainly because my, my masterpiece here was only at 26%. So I started churning out some of those... Um, ice shards and I eventually got a 30% masterpiece so I was very happy you know the difference between a 26 and a 30% is 4% and once you boost it that's an 8% uh, building health difference that I was missing so I'm very happy with the with the 30 I know 32 is max but 30 will do just fine for now uh, so anyways let's get into it um, in order to help my map clearing today I also have this little uh, troop health it's only a 10% but it'll help so I'm going to reclaim this 13% here. I have a couple more in storage, so I can afford it. Uh, there we go, just, just take that out. I'll put the extra 10% just to make my race a little bit easier today. Um, the last two days I also struggled a lot to clear my map. Most of the bases were just fine, it was just a one try, but each night I encountered one base where I got stuck on and then I started just blowing diamonds onto it. I, I completely uh, exhausted my gold I started burning diamonds because I had no gold. It was just incredibly frustrated. Um, in fact, one of them I, I, I just couldn't beat. Uh, I attacked it maybe 13 or 14 times and eventually I ran out of boost and my gold was uh, was completely gone. It was at zero gold and my diamond count was at, I think, 1,000 or 900. So I had no choice but to stop. But that was the very first time ever since I started pushing where I was not able to clear um, a PvP base. And it was uh, it was just so you know demoralizing. I, I was fully boosted. I had um, all four of my statues boosted. I didn't have the the extra troop health like right now. Uh, that base in particular was a corner layout with seven ice, and two the two masterpieces were boosted. So yeah, that really sucked. But anyways, um, it didn't matter. Uh, I was just happy that I'm so close to the top 50. So I have heavy zooka loaded, and oh, I need to boost. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm just so excited about getting into the top 50 and once I get there today, there'll be just no turning back. I'm just going to keep pushing and pushing as hard and as, as high as I can. So, am I missing one? Yeah, the gunboat. Alright, so we're a pretty pretty full boost. Four, uh, that's my typical four statues that I boost for attacking. I'm not going to waste a power pot on the little troop health. Just it on its own in there, it's help enough for me. So... So let's go for these that have the H on them. Five eye statues. Six eye statues, sorry. Masterpiece is boosted. Where are the rockets? Okay, I don't like that rocket launcher in there. Alright. Let's see if we get lucky. So... We just gotta throw a barrage. And our artillery on that flamethrower in the corner. Uh, and it's gonna need one more. Okay. Now, heavies, zookas, heavies, all to the corner. 
I'm just gonna let them walk a little bit before I throw that flare right there and then let them start walking that shot mine in there actually it's a good thing it slows down some of the heavy so that the Zookas can catch up come on I just need them to walk nice and straight two more smokes oof a little delayed but not too bad oh there's a little open gap in there those Zookas are getting hit Come on, uh, reflare to regroup. Come on, a little quicker, Zukas. Go to that mortar, critters, shock, shock. Oh man, I need those Zukas to work. I need some extra critters. Come on, take out that shock blaster and the flamethrower. Flamethrower is too dangerous. I'm gonna drop a med kit. Oh, do I have enough? I have enough for another med kit, but not much else. All right, the base is coming down nicely, so we'll we'll be okay. Uh, I need to lower the volume. The headphones are just booming in my ears and I can hear myself talking. Oh man! The sh shot launchers. Come on, one more shot. Whew. Just barely. We lost almost two boats of heavies. We almost didn't lose any Zuka. Just luckily. Another two, three seconds on that base and look at that bunch of Zukas that would have died. So, that was good. That will move us just an inch closer. Where are we now? We're at 52, and that was just a straight line from 50, 51, 52. All right, we'll get well into the top 50 by the end of today, I think. Whether I have enough time or not to, to put it all in this one video, I, I, it's a different issue, and I don't think I won't. I'll probably have to split it again. Uh, so another corner base. See, I never like when these rockets are on these two extremes. That's actually the same layout that I have. Uh, yes. To the mortar. Should we flare to the mortar over there? Or to this flamethrower? I think to the I think the mortar. Oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> All right, let's try to the mortar because I feel like if we flare to that mortar later, some of the heavies will walk around the HQ and it'll provide some coverage for the Zookas. Oh, just shy of it. Come on. Alright. Oh, there's a whole ton of mines in the path there, so... And those two shot mines in the front? You know, I just I need to make sure those heavies walk well in front of them. Not sure yet. I'll let them take out the sniper tower, get a tiny little bit of extra energy. Uh, oh, not enough time for the... Oh, man, look at those Zookas. Oof. Oh, man. Too close, too close. Alright, good. So that one heavy that was way ahead served as a you know, a little guinea pig to clear some of those boom mines. Alright, I think we're good. I'm gonna have to drop a med kit up. I don't have that much gunboat energy left. Come on, one reflare. Alright, we're gonna go to the mortar. I don't know if it'll work, but we'll try it. Shock and shock. Okay, one med kit because there's too much red going on there. If I can get enough for one more box of critters right there. Come on. And, oh my god, that's all I can do? Oh gosh. I'll just drop a med kit. Oh man, my heavies are dropping like flies to those two can cannons in the front. Oh god. Do I oh no! Oh man. No, I don't... Oh, so close. But that shot... See, that's exactly why I don't like that rocket launcher in that position. Uh, that sucked. Let's try one more time. I guess I'll flare to the flamethrower in the bottom this time. See if that works. I hope one artillery and one... No. They were worse than before, actually. There's a lot more health left on that flamethrower. That's okay. Come on, same as before. Heavies, Zookas and Heavies. Get the flare ready. Maybe I'll flare a little earlier. Instead of letting them... Uh, no, nah, but having the extra gunbow energy does help, so... Yeah, I'll let them take out the Sniper Tower once again. Alright, there. Flare. Okay. Smoke. Smoke. And now I just have to be careful here. 
maybe if I space out my smokes a light, little bit better. Yeah, right there. I can save a little bit of energy there. Yeah, we made it this time with 55. So that should give us enough for the med kit in the front. Good. Reflare, go to the flamethrower, critters, shock, shock. And I'm going to throw a med kit right away because that group of Zookas is just completely red. Uh, you know what? I'm going to save. I'm going to shock the shock blaster, the rockets, and the boom cannon in there. See if I can buy my heavies just a few extra seconds. Actually, this time it's looking much better. We have more heavies, and that is just going down furiously. Yeah. Should have just done this in the beginning. Alright. No, no biggie. As long as it goes down. And with this base takedown, um, we should have had the four victory points that we needed to get into the top 50. So let's take a look. Let me just uh, refill, retrain these boats. And that should put me at 50, I hope. 49. There we go. And that's it, guys. We made it to the top 50 in the US. And from now on, we're just going to keep on going up. Hopefully, I'll be able to catch up. I mean, it's going to take a while, though. But my pals, they're actually in the top 10. JLX and Darth Brox right here. They're both in 9 and 10. So hopefully, I'll catch up to them eventually. And you know what? Let me just start making a... Uh, let me map my Guardian, just because. Uh, before I replenish them, I'll just find the next base. Where are we going to go? Uh, there's a couple, of, there's three bases here where I put the A, which means anything. As in, I could probably beat it with any kind of troop composition. So, yeah. So this will be easy, I think. Hmm. Alright, so with this one, there's not much for me to anchor onto. So I'll probably have to walk all the way to the top. It's not going to be hard anyways. He's not boosted. He doesn't even have any ice. Which I think is funny because at 1,217 victory points. Look, the guy has 1,327 victory points. And he has no ice. I wonder if he's done with his push. Maybe that's why. If I'm just grateful. I'm still getting matched with people who have no ice once in a while. Um, so there's nothing in the top up there that worries me. So I'm not going to waste any of my artillery up there. I'm just going to put the troops straight down. Uh, let them walk up to their flags. And then flare all the way to the back. Right there. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to let those Zookas catch up because they're so slow. Oof, those Zookas don't... Oh man, I lost a bunch in there. Just because I was waiting. See, mistakes like that are not acceptable when you're playing a highly boosted base. But with this particular one, we're going to be okay. So, oh, reflare. I forgot. I didn't notice that flare's running out. It did run out. Okay, go to the machine gun. Traders. Shock. Shock. I'm going to drop a med kit now. I have some more critters ready. I'm going to put them down right there. And I have a shock ready, so what should we throw it out? No, we'll put some more critters. Yeah. This base is gonna go down really easy, so there we go. And one artillery on the HQ, but he didn't even have time to make it in there. That HQ went down so easy. Alright, good. So that's another base. Um uh, what was that? Attack attack number four, I think it is. Okay. Okay. Um let's check this one out. A little heart shape in here. Uh, I guess we'll just walk to the corner and and just wear the whole base down. Let's see. We can probably, uh, you know, I'm gonna take out this rocket shot launcher and this rocket launcher down here, so they don't block my troops when they get down there. So one and one. There we go. Put down all the troops. I'll let them take out that sniper tower in the corner. Get the extra 3 GBE. Uh, okay, flare. Ooh, stop walking, guys. Let me start covering them. 
Get the second smoke. Okay, third. All right, and now we have a pretty clear path all the way to the corner. So there we go. One more. Actually, two more, I think. Yeah, two more. Now, if those Zookas could just walk a little bit quicker. I want to reflare. Just have them regroup. Flare to the statues. Uh, yeah, the sculptor critters. And I'm going to shock. No, I'm not going to shock anything yet. I'm going to put a med kit on them. Put some more critters. The critters will buy me a little bit of time. So There we go. And actually, this is a good time to shock that little cluster in there. I'll put another boss of critters in front of those cannons and shot launcher. And yeah, these Zookas are just going to clean this entire base up. I forget that the base is not boosted, so it just makes things much easier. Uh, there we go. I probably don't have to do anything anymore. I just put some more critters. Shock the boom cannon because I can. Throw a med kit on those heavies. Uh, and that's it. That's another base and two more victory points for the cause. Uh, actually, we didn't lose a lot of troops in there. Only one Zooka and four heavies. Nice. I love when bases are so easy. You get to a point when you're pushing the, where every single base you hit, you're expected to have a lot of ice. And some of it has to be boosted. So finding bases like this is just so refreshing. Uh, so the same thing as the one before, I think. Uh, hmm. Yeah, we'll do the same thing. Oh, no, he's online. Why is he online? Yikes. Do you find that annoying when you you scout a base, you think about it, you make up your mind, you decide to go for it, and then the guy's online? <sighs> Alright, so this is a much more challenging base. A really challenging base. What is that? Seven ice? Two, three, four, five. Seven ice statues. Oh my god, three of them boosted. Woo! Wow. Alright, I don't... <laughs> I'm not sure I can do get this done, but I guess we have to try, right? You know, maybe we should go all the way to the back. Yeah, I'll go to where the machine gun is, see if that helps. One artillery... I probably need two artilleries on that, right? One, two. Yeah, two artilleries. Uh, really. All right, put all the troops down. We have 81 gunboat energy to make our way all the way up there. Come on. Um, I'll let them take out some of those uh, buildings in the front just to get a little extra gunboat energy there. Flare now. Hopefully they'll. Ah, oh, that other the sniper tower didn't go down. Come on, guys, start walking. Oh no! No, you know what? I can't. Ah. Oh. I missed that smoke there. I left an empty pocket and I just lost a ton of zookas there. And when the base has this much ice, I can't I can't risk it. And I lost three heavies too. Man. Eleven zookas on the way up there. Right, let's try one more time. One, two. So that goes away. Heavies, zookas and heavies. Maybe I shouldn't wait too long for them to take out those defenses in the front. If they can take out at least just one sniper tower, I think that'll be enough. Oh well, I just have to be more careful with my smoking. I just kind of left that empty space in there. That was kind of my fault. Right there. Right there. Is it a little better? It looks a little better. Yeah, I have most of my zookas this time. Alright guys. But man, all those Zookas are so red. Oof. One, two. Oh! It's just painful to watch them. Come on. Throw the reflare right there. I'm gonna throw my kit now because they're just so red. Alright, flare to the machine gun. Craters. Shock, shock. And that's all I've got. Come on, Zookas. I need them to start doing work. Get me enough for more critters. I'm gonna just put them right there next in between those two boom cannons. 
Hopefully by those heavies in a few seconds. Come on. Oh man. I'm gonna med kit. Oh! <gasps> the rocket launcher in the bottom is targeting my Zookas. And I don't have enough. Oh no! Oh gosh. Do I still have enough? Yes! Come on, just shoot! Shoot, guys! Oh man, that was too close. That was too close. That freaking rocket launcher. I started seeing my Zookas and you just took a few. Oh, so I got a little lucky there. So that was what? Seven ice, three of them boosted. If you think about it, actually, that was a pretty good win, right? I would say so. So, how are we doing on time? I didn't even pay attention. We're at 21 minutes already? Jeez. Um, how about this guy? He's still online? I'd like to finish him off to close up the video. He's still online. Alright, so I, I guess I'll just split this video uh, into two parts. I'll probably switch out troops. Um, I have a few bases that I'd like to take out with TGRM and RZM. I'll take out that extra base on my own time, the one that was online. Um, so let's see where we are at. So we're at 45 in the US now. So we're definitely into the top 50 now, 45. And we're, like I said before, I, I still have a few bases on my map, so I'm going to keep on climbing. Um, looking at the numbers right now, I can probably end up around 41 or 40 by the end of the day. So that'll be pretty exciting. That'll just put us straight into not just the top 50, but into the top 40 in the US. So anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoy. Oh, something spawned. Uh, it's just an NPC. Uh, all right, so I'll just wrap up the video here, guys. I'll continue recording on the, uh, a second video to continue this. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you guys are uh, playing your Boom Beach account in the United States, then go ahead, take a look at your top 50, or your local top 50, and you'll see my name in there. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Okay, guys, take care. Bye.